It's time for our Hot Topic of the Day, sponsored by Burger King. According to multiple NBA scouts, LaMelo Ball has played his way into being considered a top draft pick while playing in Australia. One scout said LaMelo reminded them of last year's Rookie of the Year winner, Luka Doncic. Mm. LaMelo has risen to the top three in mock drafts and is being touted as a potential number one overall pick in next year's draft. So, Skip... How surprising is this? For me, not at all. Really? And I'll tell you why. Once more, I got to give it up to LeVar. Mm -hmm. When did we first have him on this show? 2017, mm -hmm. I know. Lonzo was still at UCLA. So it's ahead of that draft, mm -hmm. obviously. Okay, yeah. We had him on. He was becoming a thing. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon, he was a household name. True. And after that was over, I, I did a Facebook Live hit with him over in our, what oh, okay. we call the avocado room. Mm -hmm. And we continued to talk, and I didn't know much about the youngest ball brother. Right. And what did LeVar tell me? Flat out, you know, he's <laughs> tends toward hyperbole, but right. the, a lot of hyperbole turns true. Mm -hmm. He said, my youngest will be by far my best. And he was oh. already comparing Lonzo, you know, to like better than Steph yeah, at that point. Right. Yeah. But he said, my youngest will be my best. He said, my youngest, will wind up being six feet, nine inches tall. Wow. And he's on his way. He's 18 and he's a real full six, seven, and they're predicting he might grow another couple of inches. So he might turn out to be six mm -hmm. feet, nine inches. Wow. And he's a, a beautiful blend so far of some Lonzo and with, with, with a, a real shot. Lonzo has obviously struggled with the shot. It's still pretty, it's good enough for him to be a star in the league. Well, we can go into right. that. But, but the, this kid can really shoot it, but he could shoot it from the start. Right. You could see when he was 13, 14, 15, he could shoot threes. Yes. And so all of a sudden, he's got some of Lonzo's gift for seeing, feeling, and passing, mm -hmm. which is why they're starting to go Luka Doncic yeah. here. Correct. Mm -hmm. Just creativity and He's, he looks like he's going to be a little taller than Lonzo with, with a f much fuller offensive repertoire. Right. He's going to be a scorer, right. and he can rebound, and he can pass. And he has a, a, a little bit of a new unselfish streak that I didn't see in the... the in high school, the, the when, one, he was, yeah. when he felt when, he, when LeBron fell out with the head coach because ah, his son couldn't shoot 50 couldn't shots shoot a game. 50 shots a game. So I'm reading this piece by Jonathan Gavoni, and it's, it's a good piece on ESPN.com, and... The quotes just didn't surprise me. And, and again, Brian Wintour said on ESPN yesterday that, remember, he's playing against full-grown men in right. Australia and New Zealand. Right. I think the, the quality of basketball there is high. Right. It's really going right. higher and higher. Mm -hmm. We saw what they just did in the, the World Games, right. right? Yep. That's a good point. And his point is that he's dominating full-grown men, some of whom have, have had stints, pretty good stints, mm -hmm. in the NBA. And against the Defensive Player of the Year in that Australia-New Zealand league, the other day he, had, he went 19, 13 rebounds, 7 assists. And that the Defensive Player of the Year just couldn't deal with him. Right. Okay? So we got that going. And then I read a quote from an NBA exec that says, he's completely changed my perception of the type of prospect he is and all the background info are garnered here, I'm sorry, gathered here, from his coaches and teammates paint a very different story of what I thought of him on and off the court. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like the youngest is growing into a really good kid. Who's yeah. Lonzo's a great kid too, but but the opposite of Lavar. But that's but but think about it, Skip. A lot of the perception of the kids is what framed through the Lavar. All in the family. Yep. Yep. And the and the reality show, right? Yeah. And the one scout said, "You're expecting something magical to happen every time he touches the ball." Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's that's a mouthful, which is why he is in the conversation mm -hmm. now for the first overall pick. And the funniest quote in the piece came from his head coach over there who said, I haven't heard from LeVar, so we must be doing something right. And then he laughed. That right? was such right. a good sign yeah. to me. Yes. And LeVar made a little cameo appearance when the kid first got there, but did not ask to even go to practice. Right. So he's staying, it sounds like so far, hands off. Do right. I trust Does it going learn? forward? And then we'll, I'm going to wait and see on that one. He's wearing no big baller brand attire, wow. no shoes, no clothes. It sounds like he's negotiating his uh, new deal. And he's but this is, an opportunity to, this, okay. this is an opportunity to get Big Baller going. Yeah. Well, this is a prime like, opportunity. Sounds like the Suns are going in different directions. What, what, what about Big Baller? Yeah. Oh. oh. Too much too soon. Okay. Maybe they're learning yeah. here. Well, I'm not surprised because th this kid could be the have the best mix of all the ball trades, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Skip.
when you look at it, considering the path that is pro possibly could take him to the number mm -hmm. one pick, mm -hmm. you figure he lost his eligibility in high school. He ended up having to go to Lithuania, and that didn't turn out well. Nope. He ended up playing in, in, in LaVar's league, and then he ends up going to some prep school, I think Spire in Ohio. Yes. Mm -hmm. To now he's in Australia. Yep. And could possibly be the number one overall draft pick in the NBA. That's a new route. But <laughs> the thing is, Skip, there's something called talent. And when you're good, yep. you can't suppress it, you can't hide it. Yeah. Because that's why you can get the greatest tennis player in the, ever, Serena Williams, come from Compton, California. You got it. And you get a small kid, Rafa Nadal, come yeah. from a small town in Spain. Yeah. And because the talent is just so great. Yep. Well, this kid, you're like, he lost his eligibility. He's here, he's there. But he's talented. Yeah. He can play. And, and the, he seems to be growing up right before your very eyes. And the thing you'll skip, look, and I, and I, I think LeVar is also, he's like, look, there are some things, and he will never say this publicly, but he knows there are some things he could have done differently mm -hmm. that probably could have helped out. I agree. And I think he's taken a different approach with Melo than he did with Lonzo. Yeah. And I think that's, and I think that's serving Melo well. Um, but I'm a little, I'm still, I'm a little surprised though, Skip, because... A lot of people had him as late first round, the second round, and, and and after a couple of weeks of seeing him play over there, he's rising. That saw one thing I had him like the fifth, fourth, or the fifth overall pick uh, with the potential to be number one. Yeah, well, this has him third to the Knicks. Yeah. It's just completely mock. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. okay, but he's like I said, Skip. There's something called talent, mm -hmm. and when you're good, that's what my coach told me at Savannah State. He said, "Son, you don't need to leave. You don't need to transfer. Yeah. If you're good, they'll totally find you." Totally agree. But I'm with you. I'm pleasantly shocked by this mm -hmm. because I feared that LeVar was on course to ruin a second son because he painted such a big target on Lonzo's right. back here in Los Angeles. And then here comes the, the last. Uh, Leangelo just wasn't, he didn't have enough right. talent, I think, to make it. Right. I don't know if he'd still hang on and make some. I don't think it's going to happen. Well, I just think the thing is, there's something, it's reality television. Yeah. It just paints a picture and yeah. people just get this, this, I don't know, people, uh, you get, you become obsessed. You like watching it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when you really, you know, I think the Kardashians might be just good, solid people. But because of reality television, we have this sense of what we think they are. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happened with, with LaMelo and, and, and LaVar and Ball and the family. Mm -hmm. And this guy's like, he's nothing like I thought. Well, what you, what you gathered was from yeah. Ball and the family. Sure. And so once you get to know someone, because get reality television, nobody else has TVs cameras in their homes every day. Mm -hmm. No one says, okay, cut, do that scene over again. Yeah. Or say it, say it like this. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's not, you know, we can say that's reality, but that's not reality. Yep. There are no cuts in your life. I walk in, if I forget something, I forget it. Mm -hmm. But okay, I, I wish him well. But I feared that LeVar had wrecked his route to the NBA because this kid didn't even get to go to high school. He didn't even get to Finish en high school. enjoy his high school right. experience, right, for a couple, the yes. last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, he didn't go to one year of college or any years of college. It is hard to it deal with. It is hard. It's hard to grow up that way. Right. And then, then he has horrible experience in Lithuania. Because, Skip, that's normally not the right... I mean, we see a lot of, like, international... Not American kids mm -hmm. do that. A lot of international tennis players. Yeah. They don't go to college. Mm. You know, they just, you know, they play, they play, they play. Next thing you know, they're a pro. Or you see golfers yeah. that do it like you that. Do. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't normally see basketball nope. players. Like, because remember, they made uh, uh, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, like, I want to go in the NBA. But no, um, you got to go one year. You got to go to Baton Rouge. So Where? he go piddle around in Baton Rouge. He go piddle yeah. around down there for a year. And look like he didn't even want to play. <laughs> so yeah. and, and that's, what we, that's what we get. So the route that he chose, that he's taken, is very unusual. Yep. And it, it's kind of like, I'm surprised because hey, I've never seen it before. Trust me, he's had some lonely nights in Lithuania, yes. some lonely oh, nights oh, in Ohio. Tasmania, where he is now, okay. or Ohio. But, but I'm talking about when you're, you're off U.S. soil yeah, right. and the food's different and yeah. everything's different. Yeah. The language is different in Lithuania. And right. you have to just, you have to grow up pretty fast. Right. To, you, to like you said, Skip, he's playing against grown men. Yeah. It's one thing playing against kids your age. Yeah. Now, what playing against kids older and grown men will do, it will force you to become better, to compete. And I think that's some of the things that when you have older siblings and you try to keep up with them, yep, I it, would, it would greatly advance your yep. skill set. It'll make you tougher, it, faster. It definitely will. Right? It definitely will. Yeah. You grow up quickly. And, you know, I think that 
that looking at his past, it is hard what he's been through, but maybe being away was actually the best thing for Might him. Have been. Considering the drama that oh. we saw and everything LeVar was involved in, like him or hate him, maybe being away was the best thing. Mm. He's been able to become his own person. And the fact that the coach said he's come with zero baggage wow. and that the players like him yeah. and they respect him, like, that's all that matters. That's yeah. I, I can't root I for LeVar, but I root for these sons. Yeah. I am too. Yeah. I hope it works out for him. Yeah. This is just the beginning. So yep. unfortunately, this would <laughs> this is gonna put LeVar way back on the map if he's the first overall pick, oh. right? Whew. Oh, you gonna show no coming that yeah. thing dapping. It's up then. to us. <laughs> we put him on the yeah, map. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just let this guy keep playing well and we'll we'll let it play out. We're gonna talk about the Cowboys here. They Good. keep climbing really? up the latest power oh. rankings. These rankings skip. I oh. feel like you may have said something oh. that's helped here. Oh, They're climbing, but it. just <laughs> how high? We'll discuss that.